This episode of the Still Unnamed podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash TSUP. And now... It's the Still Unnamed podcast. With your hosts... Pete and Mark... Hey kids, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Still Unnamed Podcast. I'm Pete Salas, along with... Mark Tober Rodriguez. Beep, beep! Yeah, it's Mark Tober, everybody. Mark Tober. Tober, Tober, Tober. I, I can't believe it, it took us three weeks to get to that, to yeah. Mark Tober. I just came up with it. I like it. I like that. There's a... <laughs> <laughs> There's a Tober... All the things. There is. There's a truck Tober... Trucktober. I can't. That was the one that I was going to say. I don't okay. know any more Tobers. There's uh, um, Oktoberfest. I don't know. Damn it. What a terrible example. I, <laughs> well, we're back. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. High five. Yeah. That was, that was not practiced at all. Um, anyway, welcome back. We're back. Uh, episode, I don't even know, 50 something, 52, I guess. Yeah. Um, we took last week off. <laughs> um, do you, do you just want to make this a bi-weekly thing? Well, or, I, or do you want to shoot for, <laughs> we're, we're going to shoot for weekly cause that's what we've been doing, but it is it though. <laughs> you, you know, uh, come on, let's be fair. Okay. We have lives. We, we, we do. And, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, we took last, last week off because mm-hmm. I went out of town I went to all over Texas. I traveled a, a little road trip. Yeah, a little road trip October. <laughs> um, I, I got sick in the process. Just mm-hmm. a, a little, I, I got a little head cold going on. It sucks. So that's probably what you can hear. I don't know if I sound differently. But you were saying before we started rolling that we, we actually do sound kind of different. Yeah. Because one thing's different about, well, first of all, we haven't even said... The TSUP Network Studios, we're up and running. We're back, baby. We're back, and it's it's ready to go. If you're watching the YouTube version, it, just drink there, it there, up. There was, I mean, it's the, we, we keep the same framing as yeah. usual, but, I mean, we might do a pan or something. We should Whoa. cut to a pan right now. Okay. And there it is. It's all in post-production. How do you do it? Is it movie magic? It's movie magic. So like the last couple of episodes that we've been shooting in here, um, there's usually like there was some plywood and some, uh, you know, different. Pink Panther. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> what is it called? Insulation. Insulation. And so now all that's in the wall. What? That's how you do it. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to build a house? Uh, no. I've, I've wanted to. But no, only I'm, because I want secret rooms. I'm not very crafty, but yeah, secret rooms is awesome. Well, I mean, I wouldn't build it, of course. I would commission people. Well, you just said, do you want to build? No, yes, no. I, I would like to build my own okay, home well, as in purchase it. I, I thought you meant like, do I want to take oh, a fucking no. hammer and a level and start no. building my own God. home? Like, I mean, some, I think I'm some I would, sort of an Amish person. That'd be fun. Kind of like you're like I I I I contributed. I helped build this. Well, I mean, the with the man hands. inside me. um my as a man Mm. yes we all have this Mm. uh this desire and this need to build and to to create something so i mean yes i technically the the, the gene is is the the build tober (laughs) (laughs) that could be it that could be it. Um, well, before we go any further, the reason we might sound a little different is because um, it's a beautiful night. Yes. And we have all the windows and doors open and the, there's a nice is the breeze coming through. So we don't need our window unit um, that we have here in the, in, the, in the bar, in the network studios. Yes. That creates kind of a hum. And it's like a hum that I guess you all have been used to for it a while. It sounds like if you miss it, just loop this right so there's there's a bit of a hum underneath us in most episodes every episode really um i think our best sounding episode might have been when we did it in your uh kitchen kitchen. yeah and because you know central air and whatnot anyway not important let's get back to building and creating yes um 
I'm not very crafty, which is unfortunate because my grandfather, uh-huh. like he could build, like he he could like, construct little things. He was like a tinkerer, I uh-huh. guess. Like he would just make little things, and it was like uh, would he whittle? No, he wouldn't whittle. But <laughs> like if like let's say a the the uh, barbecue pit handle was broken like mm-hmm. he wouldn't go out and get a new barbecue pit handle he would create some th- weird thing out of like pvc pipe and, wow. and screws and nails and that's, stuff that's pretty cool and it was it was sturdy and it was probably better than the factory sent it you know yeah so i wish that i had some of that um you know ingenuity i guess mm-hmm. but i don't and i try once in a while like i I, I, I like when I can accomplish something, like, even if it's something as simple as building, like, one of those little Walmart little desks or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Big lots, with baby. The, with the L, Ellen wrench and all that stuff. <laughs> Alan. Like, whatever. I say Ellen because, you know, I, I got to support my sisters. <laughs> I don't know. You're anyway, a feminist? I am a, fem- I am a feminist. Some people think that's a dirty word. Who? The Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are some people like, oh, feminism isn't about. Well, there's some people that use feminism wrong and just think like you just a, did now feminism, whatever the fuck you yeah. just said. <laughs> Phenomenizzles. Yeah. <laughs> For all my phenomenizzles. Some of them are like women are better than men, where I feel feminism is women are equal to men. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that there even should be a question. I mean, it's, it's a, like a human rights issue. Yeah. I mean, of course. But again, we're 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 kind of going in a different direction here. But that's what we do. That's what we do. We never finish a, a point. <laughs> that's one of the main <laughs> complaints and uh, you know, praises that we get. <laughs> What's we're, opposite of complaint? We're so random. Um, but yeah, there's there's been a lot of uh, especially in Hollywood in the news right now of of female of actresses or whatever um that are saying that they're not getting their fair share and their fair um uh, taste of of uh, the pie, the the slice yeah. of the pie. I guess you could say that they get paid mm-hmm. less, even though they're they're both like co stars. Yes, uh, who is it? Right, it's uh, Jennifer Lawrence yeah. from the Hunger Games of you know fame. She she kind of came out this last week and 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 wrote this big you know fuck you to the to the industry. It's a big movie, saying that you know it's it's bullshit and she should get she should get paid what her male counterparts get paid in, it, in films yeah it makes sense and it does make sense it does but she, her, i think her point which i like that she came from this angle was like like let's say she was in a movie with uh, bradley cooper yeah um uh, american hustle? hustle yes and they were saying like she was making a point that if bradley cooper like held up production because he wanted to renegotiate his contract to get more money like he would be praised for that, for standing up for himself and what he feels he deserves. Mm-hmm. Whereas if she would have done it, she would have been labeled a diva or a brat or something like that. That's true. Which makes sense because that is what she would have been called. Like, yeah. oh, she's hard to work with. She's holding up production. She wants more money. She's a greedy, you know, person or whatever. Yeah. But I think that was her main point was like, it, it goes more than just pay. It's It goes down to the core of it is uh, women are not treated the same as men yes. in, in any workplace, whether it's Hollywood or, you know, subway or whatever. Those artisans, <laughs> they're right. not treated right. No, they're not. And their mascot is a, is a kitty diddler. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's, ee, I mean, Hey, that's, man, people are, that's messed you up. You never know. Yeah. God, that's such a disappointment. It is, it is, but it's just, you, you never know people. And and he's been on he's been on our televisions for what fifteen years yeah, or something like that. Yeah, he's been on televisions looking at our children through the television. <laughs> I don't know how TV works. Five dollar foot long. <laughs> they were they must have been like super pissed. <laughs> oh yeah, the money that they dropped on that guy. Uh, I they, once read an article, or maybe I'm making it up. I I don't know. It's one of one of two. It's definitely probably true. It's probably true. Um, that. Like how much money they spent on him per year, not just his salary, but to keep him in shape because the whole thing was he lost weight by eating Subway. So if he ever like got fat again, then their whole campaign would have been down to shit. They'd be like, look at Jared. Look, he's getting big. Exactly. I guess Subway doesn't make you lose weight and all that shit. That's a good fat man. FYI, (laughs) Subway doesn't make you lose weight. (laughs) Just, just. 
for everyone out there that's wondering, no, it it, it does not. I eat a meatball sub every day. Why am I still so I haven't lost any weight. I'm just gaining weight. <laughs> we should do the whole podcast like this. No, because I can't do it as good as you do it. You do it. <laughs> I. You sound like a big black man. Uh, that's racist. No, it's not. You sound like that guy from Breaking Bad. <laughs> what guy the, from Breaking the big black guy, oh, the security guard. He, uh, Huel. Whatever <laughs> his name his is. Name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the same guy from Workaholics that came out in that famous scene that I love. Which one? When like they throw a party, like a kick-ass party, and they oh, all wake up yeah. hungover, <laughs> and there's this big black dude making <laughs> eggs in their kitchen the next morning. <laughs> And he's like, you ready? You guys want some eggs, Tyrone? You guys ready for some hot cheese and eggs? <laughs> and then oh, they kick him out. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's the same guy. Anyway, uh, well, thank you. Oh, that uh, was good, man. Yeah, if there's one impression I can do, it's a big, fat black man. Yeah, no, put that one in your book. I am. Keep it. I Anyways, am. I want secret rooms. That's, <laughs> yes, I, guess, I think you. that's the point. Full circle. Um, uh, I want secret rooms. I want like a, I want a pool on a book and then like mm-hmm. the door, the wall kind of right falls in and then it slides. Right. I'll take uh like in going classic Batman. I'll take the, the Shakespeare oh, bust. You, you just lift you it, lift the head and push, push the switch mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Is it, is it a switch or is it a button? I think it's a switch. I don't know. I haven't watched enough Batman, the classic version. Yeah. Yeah, secret secret rooms. Let's 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 stay okay. on top. Okay, I'm sorry. Right, I know. Secret I, I, rooms. I do not help because I I lead you astray. <laughs> um, secret rooms in houses and mansions and whatnot. Yes, that reminds me of. Are you watching American Horror Story this year? Uh, I mean, yes. Hotel. Oui. It is good. I don't. Uh, I like it. I'm I think two like, episodes in. How many episodes are are there out right now? At the point of recording right now, I think episode three just happened. Are you sure? No. I think we're... I mean, it started in October. We're in the third week of October, aren't we? I f- so it makes sense. I want to say in the, the Time Warner Cable app, uh huh. there's five? No, there's not five yet. Okay, well, whatever. Point being, I've seen two, you've seen one more. Right. No, I haven't seen three. Like I, oh. I, I, three just happened this past week. Okay, if you say so. <coughs> Who gives a shit? The, the, the point is... The audience gives a are shit. You, are you watching? We're not feeding them the right information. They come to us for hard-hitting facts. Nobody comes to us. Mark Schober. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, you're really digging it? I'm, I'm kind of like... Uh, I'm, I'm digging it simply from the, the point of view that... Um, it's it's gotten it's gotten sexy again, like it it was okay. like a really sexy show at the beginning. At the beginning, like like that first, made first season. Well, like just it was it was highly. Sexual. I'm gonna get in trouble for this conversation. Heads up, Alyssa, you're gonna probably get mad. We're about to talk about sexy stuff. Sexy stuff. Sextober. <laughs> Sextober. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have the title for the show. <laughs> Mark and Pete talk sextober. <laughs> sextober. Tober, tober. Um, yeah, no, I, I th- my favorite season is still two, Asylum. Okay. I think that, that that was my favorite one. I think that's like my least favorite. Really? A lot of people say that. And not a lot of people say yours. What? That it's their favorite. Well, I do because I... I I don't know. I just liked it. It was dark. It was. It was. Uh, it, it had. A, it had a lot of good moments. Gritty. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked the. Uh, it was visually really cool. Well, that every, whole every every season is really yeah. That's I true. Mean, it's really well shot. Um, um, but yeah, like the whole scene, like the the place was great. Mm-hmm. I did not. Okay, this one. This might divide the audience here. I didn't really care for Coven. <gasps> The the which one? It was good. I watched I didn't, the whole I didn't thing. Watch it. I didn't even watch it because I was uh, um, Asylum left such a bad taste in my mouth. I decided to skip Coven. Okay. Did you watch Freak Show? I did watch Freak Show. I th- that one. I liked that one a lot. I liked it a lot. And too. I I get conflicting reports on that one. Really? Yeah. I felt it was the strongest since one. Really. 
I, 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 in my opinion, okay. which We're is definitely uh, dividing this audience, completely true. Uh huh. And if you disagree with my thoughts, you're wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the way the internet works. Well, look, I, I, I know it on, on, on specific grounds. Okay. Um, uh, Jamie, who I started watching that show with from season one, uh-huh. like she couldn't even get through the first two episodes of Freak Show. Is what she really? Told me. Yes. Why? She, she skipped it altogether. I don't know. I just, well, she, I mean, she she couldn't. Well, actually, just... I know why. I asked her. She said it was because there wasn't enough action, like right off the bat. Like, is she watching um, this one? Yes, and and in episode one, like there was like at least five killings. Okay, I suppose in that aspect, there's a lot of action going on. Right. Um, a lot of, too much action, if you ask me. <laughs> and some good action going uh, on there, there. Okay, can we real quick? I'm going to do a little segue. Uh-huh. Uh, I had a co- quick conversation because when we, Alyssa and I watched the first episode, spoilers, uh-huh. Schmidt from New Girl, he just gets fucking railed. Right. By like a unicorn. Uh, He's got like a, a drill dick. Yeah, a drill dick. That's probably the best way to describe it. And uh, Actually, I kind of like that for the title of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Sextober, a.k.a. drill dick. Anyway. Sextober, colon, drill dick. Colon, drill dick. <laughs> Hey, there's a pun. Yeah. Uh, anyways, he's just fucking getting rammed in the butt. Yeah. With a just it, and I'm like, this mm-hmm. is not good. And like a little bit visually disturbing. Time passes, and like the episode's almost over. I turned to this. I was like, I don't, I don't think I like this season so far. I mean, I know it's the first episode, mm-hmm. and she's like, really, what, what don't you like it about? It? I'm like, I mean. It's it's a bit disturbing. It it was going to me a bit into the horror genre torture porn, mm-hmm. uh, where it's just fucking making me uncomfortable to watch. I'm not scared. It's just <clears throat> making me feel bad. Right. And I was like, I don't. I was like, I don't like rape. Mm-hmm. And then well, she turned to me and she was like, Yeah, nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, Which, I I would say that yeah. is accurate. Um, That's debatable though, because I I can say maybe half of the party may like it what the raper <laughs> oh oh that's so, okay I, I got i get what you're saying um where did where, how did we talk oh secret schmitty t- no secret tunnels secret rooms secret tunnels <laughs> uh secret uh rooms in no let's talk i'm not done talking about horror story okay i'm liking well, this conversation okay go ahead uh well like i feel in asylum we're, we're gonna jump back and forth through all the seasons okay. minus Coven because I probably did because I didn't see it, but you can talk about it if you want to. Your wife watched it, didn't she? She did watch it. She like, watched it without me. She was a. She mentioned something about. Uh, she liked the look, right, of the girl that lived in the woods. What she are, was very like uh, flowy, like uh, what's it, the what her name? It's called boho. That style. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, she's was uh, Stevie Nicks. Thank you, Stevie okay, Nicks yeah. from Fleetwood Mac. Anyway. But uh, I felt Asylum was went all over the place and it threw everything at the wall and then it kind of nothing like there was almost no payoff. Like for one, okay, there's spoilers for season two, American Horror Story mm-hmm. colon Asylum. <laughs> there was right. Asylum Tober. There was aliens. <laughs> there was like monsters. There was Nazis. There was demonic possession. Oh, yeah, you're right. There was ghosts, I think, mm-hmm. probably. probably. There was an angel of death. Satan? Wasn't Satan involved? Satan was probably there. There was a, oh, uh, there was a serial killer. That's true. There was a lot going on. There was, like, a lot of shit going on. Uh-huh. And, and one of the things that, that super disappoint me, di- disappointed me was uh, that Nazi scientist who had created those monsters. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forgot about the monsters. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He, he just fucking like there, like midway through, he was, he was like feeding some of the patients to them. And I'm like, Oh shit, where's this going? And then he just went into the woods and shot them all and killed them. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, Oh, so we're done with that. <laughs> I guess that's not going anywhere. Yeah. So that, that me, that's how okay. I felt. Well, the, the one thing that I can say about the, the series overall is um, it's never the same thing twice. I mean, granted, it's an anthology. It's not supposed to be the same thing. But you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it, the first one was like a traditional ghost story, I guess. Haunted House. Haunted House. And then the next one was uh, 
I, what all the things all the things like you said <laughs> like maybe they were just testing the waters yeah. to see where where they would go and maybe like uh what's it called like witchcraft and like spirituality yeah. like that that was big or that tested positive so they went with uh with coven yeah and they made it all about witches okay and then the next season i mean traditionally freak shows and are usually very creepy, creepy yeah so they said oh, perfect and then this season hotel I think that they've hit their stride. That's my opinion. I'm really digging this season. I, the one drawback, Jessica Lang. Of course, she did not come. That's back true. This season. That sucks. She was, she was a staple. I mean, she's not dead. I don't know why I did this, but, but uh, she's she's living in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> That's why <laughs> she's like, hey, I just wanted to take a break. I want to live in the attic. Like, right. Yeah. So, <laughs> JL. Miss you from a few hours ago. <laughs> you, rent is due, <laughs> Jessica Lang. <laughs> Come on. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I, I think they hit their stride this season. I think they're. And I've only seen two episodes. Since we're talking about sexy, a mm-hmm. lot of sexy people. A lot of sexy people. I think the vampires, the the men are sexy. Ladies, I'm I'm comfortable with my sexuality. Cool, cool. Tell me they're not sexy. They're they're sexy. They're attractive men. It's an it's an attractive. Uh, Cast a character, Lady Gaga. Meh. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. What What is your feeling on her? Um, Alyssa turned to me, so I can quote her and not get in super trouble. Okay. Um, she said, "Is she a butterface?" <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, "Nothing." <laughs> Smart. No, but she is a butterface. Um, she, yeah, her face is is. She's not ugly. I wouldn't call her ugly. No, there's ugly people. Right. But she's, she just looks, I, maybe they made her look different, funny, like, like no, she that, has no, that, no eyebrows almost. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a comment that's been said. Right. And to me, like when I see her eyes, I think Marilyn Manson, <laughs> it just reminds me of Marilyn Manson. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I, I don't know why, but I mean, it's, I think anyway. they got big noses. Yeah. There's, there's a, there's a common trait, but anyway, she's hot as shit. And I've said that for years. Like, I've always thought Lady Gaga is a hot little piece of ass. Mm-hmm. I might have said this earlier in this podcast months ago. <laughs> she, but. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it. Probably going to get in trouble. She got, she, got a, she got it going on. No, and, that's what you said. We were talking about Lady Gaga and your, your exact response. I forgot the episode was she's got a nice tuchus. And I remember <laughs> that. Now that you said that, it reminded me. We were discussing Lady Gaga, and you said she's got a nice tuchus. Well, they, they, she's, <coughs> she does have a nice uh, tuchus. <laughs> her Confirmed. lovely, her lovely. Hump. Let's let's be positive. Her hump. Her hump. Her, she she's a better actress than I thought she was. Oh be. yeah, I really. She's thought selling that, the shit out of that. I really thought that that she was like uh, stunt casting. Uh-huh. Like oh, that we, makes sense. We lost Jessica Lang, but look, there's Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, right? But she ended up, you know, she, so far so good. I, She's I, a believable vampire. Also, I like, I like the what they're doing with the vampires. Mm-hmm. Uh, and when she was explaining their little rules, they're more like immortals. Yeah, they don't have fangs and stuff. Yeah, I like that whole little thing because I was like, okay, this is a a bit believable. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're okay when uh, they made dandy from last season into a vampire Mm -hmm. he was new and that was when she was explaining it to it explaining it to him she was also explaining it to the audience which i really appreciated right um uh he was like so are we immortal and she's like if you're smart Mm -hmm. so he was like what about guns and stakes and all that stuff and she's like if we're if you play it smart you're immortal so, I mean, I think you could still die, like, if they chop off your head. Right. You got super hit, quick healing, though. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he said, well, we don't have fangs. And she's like, no, we cut their necks, and then we drink that blood. Mm-hmm. And she was like, the sun doesn't hurt us, but we should keep out of it. Like, the sun, no, the words were, the sun doesn't kill us, but we should stay away from it, because I think the sun makes them mortal. Okay. Which all, all of that, I was like, I like that. That might that might come up later. I mean, maybe, probably. So foreshadowing, right? So overall, I I'm enjoying this season. I got to catch up so that I can watch uh, this next this next episode and be like up to date or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I, I I think that's a good series. 
I've enjoyed it since season one. Season one was really good. So I I got into season one uh, midway through the season. Alyssa was like, "Hey, I'm watching this show. I think you should check it out." And okay. I was like, "Okay." So I checked it out, and I was like, "This is really cool." Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Secret rooms. You wanted to talk about them. Well, I mean, you brought it up, but I I segued into American Horror Story because of the hotel and all like the. the they they just introduced a, a character who I believe was uh, uh, he was based on uh, one of America's first serial killers, the last name Holmes I think something like that. Oh, H H Holmes does that make sense? That's three H's in a row. Triple H is, is Triple H a murderer? Triple H is a murderer. Oh my gee! <laughs> Somebody should tell tell Stephanie McMahon. Right, Stephanie McMahon H. He <laughs> is uh, he was he's based on one of those original American serial killers from back in the An American the, horror story, if you will back in the twenties. <laughs> and he had a, he like, he converted his apartment building or his business or something into a, just a complete and total ho- house of horrors. Like literally yeah, like a slaughterhouse with secret rooms where he would torture people and he would cut them up and just throw them into the incinerator. And just, it was, it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. So when you said secret rooms, I thought of that. And that's not what I would use my secret rooms for. Right. I probably have a panic room where I just need to calm down. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing. You're just out of, out of control. <laughs> just, okay. And we're good. Okay. Right. It'd probably be pastel pink. Mm-hmm. That's a calming color. No, it's not. No, no. Um, Blood red. That calms me down. <laughs> well, we also just celebrated, uh, Harley, Harley Quinn's, Quinn's birthday. birthday. She is four years old. Four years old. Happy birthday to that sweet little girl. I love her so much. And we just had a little party here, a little get together. Yeah, I think she really enjoyed it. She did. I bought her a tutu. Yeah, it was badass. Because she's like kind of girly. Because she's four and two plus two is four. I didn't even put that together, but that's cool. Math. Right. Math jokes go great on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. It's a, it's Joker colors mm-hmm. and I would have never noticed it, but it was pointed out to me. So it was perfect. <laughs> um, so a little tutu, which is purple, black, and green. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I figured that's, it's a good idea. It's super cute. So happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to her. Uh, yeah, we got her some, my little pony stuff and, uh, my, my buddy Rod got her an easel. For okay. painting and stuff. Because all, like, month she's been saying she wants an easel. I don't even know where she got the word from, hmm. but she's been wanting one. And then she opened it up, and she's like, oh, thanks. I'm like, that's exactly what you wanted. Kids! Does she not know what an easel is? No, I asked her. I was like, "What? do you know what that Did is? She thinks she meant weasel. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> Didn't Alyssa have a ferret? She had a ferret, and it stunk like shit. That's what she told me. It smelled horrid. It was it was a bad smelling little Fred and, and, and her ferret. <laughs> yes, Fred and her ferret. Uh, it was a smelly little thing, and they're they're typically smelly, like they're musky is the word. Yeah, they have like these glands that that release a certain smell to them. But this one smelled like shit. <laughs> like it was just a really that musk was shit. It was a rank little f- rodent. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Was that I, I killed it? <laughs> no, I didn't kill it. I'm not a psychopath. You know what's scary about having kids? What? <laughs> they could be psychopaths. Right. And and you're just going to, that's going to be your legacy. It's on the so world. scary. And there's going to be some people that are going to know the trivia and just be like, yeah, Dexter. I mean, he had parents that named him Dexter. Right. So, I mean, it's kind of their but fault. But you know what? Now that I think about it, that I just said that, um, in a way, I'm going to – it's not kind of – it's kind of not true because no one thinks about Charles Manson's, you know, parents or Hitler's parents. I think or, of Hitler's parents. Do you know their names? No, but I think of them. But that's what I mean. Like, your name won't be infamous. At, at, like, like your child who did the murders or whatever is going to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, but – It's going to be real shitty. It's going to be – it's – okay – it's 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 coming off wrong that I'm like, oh no, that's my legacy. No, I don't I don't want my child to do harm. <laughs> I want I want my child to leave 
the world better off mm-hmm. because because he was in it or her. But well, I mean, look, I'll, if we're, if we're talking about somebody, Dexter's going to be a psychopath. Dexter is, <laughs> you mean you named him after a serial killer. Harley Quinn is named after a serial killer. She's not a serial killer. She's just crazy. She's, she's killed people serially. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> Tober. <laughs> <laughs> like she's straight up murdered people. Well. But yeah. Harley Quinn, she's like a sweet pie and Dexter is... You know, you can't get a read on that kid. Mm, that's true. That's like true. He's, he, he's everywhere. He could be just happy go lucky. I mean, but he's two. He's two. He's one and change. He's going to be two in January. Right. So maybe he just hasn't hit his stride. That's what I'm hoping. Like American Horror Story has this season on FX. We should toss it to our sponsor. Do we still? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We... <laughs> Um, do you like audiobooks? I don't know how to do this anymore. Like, we're to make it seem, like, natural. So, anyway. Have, okay. We're, we're not going to make any money off of this. No. So, we'll still sell it. We're, nobody's going to use it. But please use it. I think it's cool that we have a sponsor. It's cool. It's nice to say that we have a sponsor. I wish that, that, <laughs> I wish that they, we didn't disappoint them. Because... We've got, we've got. I'm just going to ask you a quick question. Yes. Have you used it? <laughs> Have you, the producer and sole owner of the Still Unnamed podcast, what's up? Have you signed up on audibletrial.com slash TSUP? I have, How do you expect your I have audi- not signed up. Disappointed! At, at audibletrial.com slash TSUP, like I have been asking people it to do. It is so quick and so easy. I signed up for it. Right. I, I, I listened to a book. It was like a freaking 40 hour book. You ready to listen to it? I listened to it. It was good. I enjoyed it. So you got your free audiobook. I got my free audiobook. At audibletrial.com slash TSUP. Okay. And it was enjoyable. And there's so many books to choose from. Like, I'm not selling this shit to them. No, I'm you're not. I'm selling it to you. Okay. Uh, would you say that there's over 180,000 books to choose from? I would say there was upwards of 180,003. <laughs> there, I almost, I almost got it. <laughs> the Stephen King novel, but that book is eighty hours. Were you able to upload it to your iPhone, Android, I got Kindle, it. I or I just MP3 downloaded player? the app. I, it was so easy to do. I downloaded the app, uh-huh. and then I just downloaded my book. You can download it in chapters if you don't want to download the whole book and take up space on your phone. That sounds really easy. It's so fucking easy, Pete. <laughs> <beat. laughs> I it sounds like I should go do it right now. Like, the, I should go to audibletrial.com slash TSUP. It is Halloween time. The audiobook, Stephen King's It, is up there. It's an 80-hour book, and it's for free. That's a great <laughs> fucking deal, Pete. <laughs> Come on. Uh, <coughs> 80 hours of, like, one of the best horror novels ever written. True. True. Read to you mm-hmm. by a talented look. The book that I heard, it was all right, but the voice, the narrator was phenomenal. She was great. They hire really good people to do that stuff. Like she was, she was, she was using her voice for the the narration part, and then when she would read it as the other characters, it was never the same voice. And I was very impressed. Oh, like she changed her voice per the every character? time. Yeah, I've heard some people do that. Like the the barkeep had a had a like an Italian accent and there was an she also was like an 80-year-old old black security guard. What? Yeah, it was really good. Wow. Fucking sign up. <laughs> I will. I will go right now to audibletrial.com/tsup <laughs> and I will put my information in and I will get my free audiobook. You know what's really good about it? If if you keep the trial, like if you go beyond the trial, like cancel it before your trial's up uh-huh. for one so you don't get charged shit. Right. But if you do keep it, you get a free audiobook every month. Okay. So you could keep on getting like a free book every month 
Like 80 hours. Like that's mind blowing to me. <laughs> I, I cannot drive 80 hours. Maybe I'll, if I commute for 80 hours, how many, how many times did I go to work? That's probably freaking. it's a half hour drive. That's being generous to the drive. So it's to and from that 80, 80 days, days, 80 days worth of driving, 80 days worth of driving. Wow. That's two. That's more than two months. It's two and a half months. Okay. Well, uh, we, then we, we will see a spike in, in audio book. I don't care about a fucking spike. I want just one little notch. Hey, Pete signed up. <laughs> I will, I will go do that. I've been meaning to do it and I just haven't <laughs> done it. So to everyone out there who has, and there have been a, a few of you and I, we appreciate it. Love you. Thank you for doing so. And, uh, tell your friends. <laughs> I have no idea. We're really good at advertising. Yeah, we are. This is why we can't do radio because I say fuck a lot. We were, yeah, we were just talking about that. Like, if by some you know miracle or whatever in a fantasy world, yes, we were. We got the phone call and someone said, "Hello, this is big radio. <laughs> big radio here. You guys are men. We're gonna pay you men money, right?" <laughs> How would you like your own radio show? What? Right. We'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? So you're like live a, on the air. I right. would like a soundboard. <laughs> that, that's my one thing I want to do, 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 do. Or you want to be like a wacky morning show? Like, yeah. <laughs> that's like douche nation. <laughs> the douche. I, big Ira, crazy Ira and the douche. And the douche. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I don't think we could do it. No, because I can't think of a name every day. I don't think you have to. I would. Because you're just that dedicated. I'm dedicated to the art of... It's radio, though, not podcasting. Well, you know. It's a dying art. It is, and it's unfortunate. It sucks. Because I, I, I love radio. I do. I, I didn't love it before I worked in it. I mean, I would listen to the radio, and yeah. I appreciated for what it was. But I didn't appreciate it from like the inside, and it's a it's a that really sounds sexy. It, yeah, hey, hello. appreciate it from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, warm inside. It is. It's um, it's quite uh, sticky. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I got, Whoa! I got, sorry, I I got lost there for a minute. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, no, radio radio is a dying art, and. Uh, and it's sad, mm-hmm. but hey, fuck it. We got podcasts. It scares me, man. Because like years ago, people were like, okay, I need to choose a profession that's going to... Even Superman's job is fucking leaving. Oh, the newspaper? Newspaper industry. Oh, dude, newspapers got another five years, I think. It's it's dying. It's and, then, and then people are like, oh, well, I'm going to be in radio. And then like radio's on its last leg right that's more newspaper but radio's um yeah not not looking good in the future and then like television is becoming all digital now like yeah. you know no one watches it on at their house anymore nope did you see that back to the future skit on jimmy kimmel no i'm or, not a big fan of jimmy kimmel well he had doc and marty on for the good good for doc and marty and jimmy. and he made a point he was kimmel like, or fallon kimmel oh okay well yeah i watch kimmel more because he's abc okay well he had them on and the, the the whole joke was like, you know, they're from the past and he's trying to explain to them what's 2015 really like or whatever. And, uh, there's a fly in here. Anyway. Um, one of the jokes was like, Marty asked, like, are people watching us right now? And he goes, yeah, pe- we're, people are watching us right now. Although more people will probably end up watching this tomorrow on their phone while they <laughs> sit on the toilet. Which is so true. Like, that is so <laughs> yeah, that true. Yeah, true. That, you know, people don't really watch TV anymore. That's correct. They watch clips the next day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's, that's the next, that, I guess that's what's in now. So, technically, TV, traditional television, broadcast television. Which is what I'm doing. Right. Is on, I'm its, fucking... on its way out, too. Yeah. I mean, that, that's going to be a while. No one's ever going to give up TV altogether. No. But still. You know. That's what they said about radio serials, I assume. <laughs> right. Get you out see, of here, Flytober. You see the fly now? Flytober. 
Um, be ready, people. If you haven't noticed, right. I'm going to be real annoying today. So then I think we should end this. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Tober over here. <laughs> um, <coughs> simply because you didn't clear out the memory card and we are coming up on as much time as that thing has left on it. So, um, And you know what? I can promise you if they're watching on YouTube, they can't see the fly. So we seem crazy. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. We're just like <laughs> waving at shit. Like, don't <laughs> don't slow down. This is bat country. <laughs> um. Anyway, hit the music. Hit it. Fucking fly! I want to thank everybody for listening. Thank you all for tuning in, uh, joining us again this week for another episode of the Still Unnamed Podcast. Uh, really appreciate you guys. Uh, you made a point earlier. You asked if I still had a website. Yes, we do. So I want to direct you guys there. Website is tsupodcast.com. Um, so thank you guys. Click again. on the Mark's Minute link. Right. You can listen to all three of them from last year. Don't get winded. <laughs> <laughs> there's one There's one from this year because I made one for Dexter. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. In January. <laughs> cool. Cool. We're, we're October. We're rocktober i don't know hey that's another one yeah, that's a, that's one we hadn't said yet um special thanks to our sponsor chico's bail bonds and thank you guys again i'm pete salas along with mark tober rodriguez have yourself a very very happy taco tuesday bye bye October. <laughs> taco tober <laughs> Ta- i said talk tober talk tober bye